Hey everyone, Val here. Starting a new week. It is Monday. I know I still have a video from the craft fair that I need to upload this week. Uh, we have, I think, uh, No Tag Tuesday tomorrow. And uh, I was going to plan on having a slower week, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, we're doing our Thanksgiving this weekend coming up for our family, the kids and the grandkids. So I have to get ready for that. So I'll be cooking probably Thursday and Friday. I'll be doing some of my cooking. I've got to go pick up one of my grandsons. He's going to spend the weekend with me, the oldest grandson, Gavin. And uh, he doesn't drive yet, so I'm going to go pick him up, and he's going to stay at the house for the weekend. And I will take him back Sunday afternoon. So it is going to be a busy week this week. I want to run by From the Heart Stitchers tomorrow because I have sorted everything that came back from the craft fair. I have the items I want to donate for the, uh, the hospitals and uh, any other places that they need them. The half mittens, the hats, the hedgehogs, the little teddy bear, baby bear, comfort toys. I'm trying to think of what else we have in the box for the the stitchers. I think uh, my sister had some wheelchair bags and, and things like that. But anyway, I have the boxes all sorted and oh, some blankets. We have blankets for them, uh, crocheted blankets from my mom. So it's all sorted. It's all written down because they need an inventory of what's in the boxes. I'll probably stay and help them tag everything because they put the From the Heart Stitchers tag on everything that they give away, um, saying that it's not for resale, that it is a gift from the stitchers. So I'm going to probably load that into my car today and run that down to Richmond office tomorrow. And I'm um, not sure what else for tomorrow. But I want to I do. The church gave me some more Christmas stockings to sew. They found a few more in, in the house. So um, they have a few more for me to sew. They gave me some fur for the top of the stockings. I'll show you all those when I finish. Um, but those will be going to the nursing homes after we stuff them. I'm hoping I can get them done this week. I should be able to find some time to do that. So if I cook in the morning, I can do that in the afternoon. I am putting together an Advent study for a live stream. I completed the first class today, and that's ready to go. I'm going to start that Tuesday November the 28th is going to be a live stream at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Make sure you're there. It's already scheduled. Um, so come and if you want to do a, a nice Advent study, um, come and join us. And I, I want to have some feedback. You know, we all can kind of share our thoughts on uh, Advent and anticipation and are we all seeing the same way? Um, that's my first study. So, and then there's going to be three more studies. It's going to be every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So it'll be November 28th, December 5th, December 12th, and December 19th. I wanted it to finish before Christmas. And then, of course, we are not going to do anything Christmas week. I don't see that happening. So I do have one day that I'm going to volunteer at the radio station for their end-of-year fundraiser. It's a one-day event. So I'm, I'm going to go help them out with that. Um, besides that, um, just uh, we're going to go up to Pennsylvania to for to visit with Steve's family for the Thanksgiving holiday, the the real Thanksgiving holiday, and then the weekend after will bring us into December. So looking for some to some time with the grandbabies um, and getting ready for Christmas, and I'm going to do vlog uh what's it vlog december vlogmas vlogmas i'm going to be doing vlogmas i'm going to try to vlog every day or have something every day up on the channel i try to have it something up up every day on my channel anyway but um i'm going to try to have some more like christmas related stuff on the channel of course the tuesdays will be for the uh, advent study but i want to maybe incorporate some more kind of Christmassy things uh, for the month of December. So hopefully y'all can join us on the channel and uh, hang out with us and uh, see what's going on with the Reese's. Uh, 
in December and you know through through the whole Christmas season so it's all about the adventure right I'm trying to get that that uh, phrase in there so that uh, I can start building that as my tagline for my channel because I want to be working on my channel and changing the name of my channel to Valerie Reese. It's all about the adventure and that will be coming up when I catch up to myself. Hopefully soon I will get that up. I'm still have not had time to work with my editing, the new editing program yet. I'm still using the little one that I'm very limited on. But at least I'm doing the videos, I'm getting them up, and that's one of my main goals. So we are supposed to be talking about fitness and how I did for this week. And this week has been a challenging week because I have a lot of prep for the craft fair. That was this past Saturday. I had the setup on um, Friday. Uh, my son came on Thursday to help me out with, you know, getting everything into the car and hanging out with me a little bit. I got a few little things finished up on Monday and Tuesday. Um, so let's see how I did. I'm going to turn you guys around to see the book and we'll kind of go over what I've been eating. Have I been making the right choices? Have I been getting my steps in? And uh, what my goals are for next week. So let's see how I did. Okay, let's look at Monday. Starting my week out on Monday, I had a three egg omelet with cheese and grapefruit. My calories are estimated over here. I had uh, apple, a cheese stick, and some almonds as a snack. And then I had a yasso bar also. Um, I had uh, for dinner pasta with meat sauce, and I did have one piece of pizza because Steve cooked some pizza. So I figured them at, uh, and we do the very thin crust pizza, so there's not a whole lot of crust on it. Uh, $13.80 for the day of Monday. For Tuesday, I had a half a cup of oatmeal with yogurt and a banana. I had chicken with a potato and peas for lunch. And I had a cheese stick as a snack. For dinner, I cooked some egg noodles with sausage and onions and peppers. And then I had a little bag of baked potato chips for a snack, like right with dinner, because I have not been snacking after dinner, y'all. I spent a whole week not snacking. That's two full weeks of no snacking after dinner. This I ate at the table while, you know, I was eating my dinner. So I have done well, and my body is not really craving the after-dinner snacks because it knows I'm just going to say no. So the cravings have started to go away for the after-dinner snacks. I am very happy about that. Wednesday, three eggs with cheese and grapefruit. I did a chicken breast uh, with mayonnaise. This was a wrap. I, I cut up a chicken breast and I wrapped it in some uh, romaine lettuce. So I did like a chicken wrap using lettuce as my wrap um, and the mayonnaise in there. It was just chicken breast and a little bit of mayonnaise. And uh, cheese. I had a cheese stick and a yasso bar as a snack. And then for dinner, I had pork chops, um, homemade macaroni and cheese using Velveeta. I had a little bit of that and some lima beans. So my calories for the day were 1360, 1380 on Monday, 1270 on Tuesday. Going into Thursday, this is the day my son came over. I started with my breakfast of half a cup of oatmeal, yogurt, and bananas. I did have chocolate pudding and almonds. It's the sugar-free chocolate pudding snack and almonds as a snack. And then because my son was running late, so we ate a late lunch. And we had uh, tortellini. I cooked some spinach and uh, cheese tortellini. And I put did like a, a oil, uh, olive oil, pesto kind of thing for a sauce on it, a very light sauce. And uh, I bought some California rolls in, from Food Lion, and I split them with my son, so that was 170 calories on the California rolls. I ate a little bit of the tortellini, and I did have a breadstick. So for dinner, I cooked New York strips, baked potatoes. I ate half of a, a large baked potato, and I put butter and sour cream on it. And then I cooked asparagus and bacon. 
for Steve. I used turkey bacon on mine. Um, it, it didn't work as well wrapping asparagus and turkey bacon. But um, I ate a couple pieces of the, I think like three pieces of the asparagus with uh, two pieces of turkey bacon on each of them. So that's the best guess I could get on the calories. The calories were high, 1983 that day, but I did have like two meals because of the lunch and the dinner. I would have, if my son wasn't here, I would have ate much lighter for the lunch. I wouldn't have had the breadstick and all of that stuff. And then for Friday, I had uh, some of the sugar-free pumpkin bread that I made, some yogurt and some berries. For breakfast, I had an apple, a rice cake with peanut butter for lunch. And this was the day I did the setup for the craft fair. So I just grabbed a quick lunch. I was there from 9 to 12 or 12.30, something like that. Uh, Steve had a dentist appointment that day, and they did some dental work, so he really couldn't eat that much. So I told him I'd just do a quick chicken noodle soup. So I just had a little bowl of chicken noodle soup. It made our calories really low for the day, or my calories anyway. He really couldn't eat that much. Uh, but I really didn't feel hungry at all because I'd eaten so much the day before. So it kind of like these two days kind of evened out. I wasn't trying not to eat, but I just didn't feel hungry. On Saturday I had, that was a day of the craft fair. I had three eggs with cheese and grapefruit before I left. When I got there, the building was cold and they had hot chocolate there. So I did get a glass of hot chocolate, but it's very high in calories. Um, for lunch, because I was still there and I didn't want to stop and eat lunch, I had brought some of the granola protein bars with me and some string cheese, and I did eat that. And then for dinner, we went out um, to a local restaurant, and I had a steak sub with fries. So um, that may or may not be low. Um, it may be higher than that. I'm not 100% sure. I just put steak fries into my calorie counter and it came up, I mean steak and fr steak sub and fries, and it came up around 600. It was five something, so I rounded up. And then the last day, Sunday, yesterday, we had church. So I had a rice cake with peanut butter before church, and I did grab, I don't think I wrote it down, but I grabbed a little piece of pumpkin roll while I was at the church with some coffee. I didn't write that down. I'm not sure how many calories, but I would think another couple hundred calories. I didn't grab a big piece. But um, I did have a protein bar with some almonds um, for a snack. And that was, I think I had the snack after my lunch, but I wrote them all down afterwards. I had yogurt berries and a banana for my lunch. And then I had the protein bar and almonds afterwards when I was working in my craft room. For dinner last night, we had a uh, low-sodium ham steak. I had uh, some fried potatoes with the skins on them, the little baby potatoes from our garden. And then I had some corn that we, you know, took off the cob and froze. So it was fresh frozen when we got it, it was fresh. So I figured at 1260 around there for the calories, not a terrible week. I mean, there's a couple of high days, but um, I was right in here working very hard, working, <laughs> trying to get everything done. All right, so how did I do? I did only got two days of walking in. So I walked 37 minutes on Tuesday for a mile and a half, and I did 43 and a half minutes on Wednesday, and I actually did one and three quarters miles. I'm going to try to work myself up to two miles. I'm going to try to get my speed up a little bit. I'm going about two and a half miles per hour. I want to get up to three miles per hour, but I wanted to do it slowly because I don't want to stress my body out. So Monday, this is the amount of steps I had each day. As you can see, Tuesday and Wednesday are my high days. I want to try to get to 10,000 steps. That's one of my goals. I don't, I'm not going to push it this week. Uh, because I do have another busy week this week. I'm going to, after I film this video, I'm going to go and do at least a half an hour walking, maybe get a, another mile and a half in or something. Um, I might even get a mile and three quarters in. And these are my 
So you can see how low my steps are from Saturday from being at the craft fair. I did a lot of sitting while people looked through my booth. I didn't want to be up in the way of people shopping, so I, I kind of sat and stayed out of the way. And if people needed something or I needed to rearrange a table because it was picked over, then I would get up when there wasn't a lot of crowd around the table and try to organize stuff. But I wanted to keep my area... Um, so people could get through it. I didn't want to be blocking anybody so they couldn't get to my tables. So I, did, I had some low steps in here. Monday was really low. I'm not sure what that was about, but that was really low. All right. So my weight, I started out the week at 186.8. And you can see how I just kind of stayed the same. Friday and Saturday, I didn't weigh because I was scared, but I weighed this morning. I really was scared because I was eating. I ate bad on Saturday, and I kind of just snacked on Friday. I understand that. Um, oh, my phone thinks I'm talking to it. Uh, but as you can see, today when I weighed in this morning, I was at 186.8, which is exactly what I was at last week. So I have a zero, but I had a big loss the week before of 5.2. So I'm not stressing that I didn't lose weight this week. It was a week of little exercise and a lot of um, picking and just, you know, not paying attention to, you know, what what is the best choices. I just snacked a lot. So I'm happy with nothing. I'm happy with no gain, no loss. I'm good to go. I'm going to start my week out at 186.8. And I had this morning eggs and grapefruit. So I'm gonna start my day at one or my week at 186.8. Um, let's see where 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 did I start at when I started this book? I I didn't start at the beginning of the year when I started tracking. I I started tracking. Well, I started actually started uh, trying to lose weight a couple years ago when I was at 210 pounds. But I actually started, when I started tracking here, I was at 192.8. So I'm at 186, what's that, 8 pounds? So I've lost 8 pounds since uh, August, I guess. I don't know that that's bad. I think that's good. I'm going in the right direction. So uh, I'm happy with that. I mean, I'm happy with that. If I can lose, like, a couple more pounds before the end of the year, that would put me at a 10-pound loss in the last six months I, I'm not going to complain at all so let me see what the rest this week will bring me I got a lot to get accomplished so let me know how y'all are doing did you have a good week last week did you gain did you lose do you have any tips for me I did get the nutritional brochure from the nutritionist um, from the VA um, I I looked at it. I've got to still figure it out. She's listing carbs. She's saying limit your carbs to one or two servings per day. And she's got an amount per serving. Uh, one of the ladies at church said I should be tracking carbs. I don't know if I have time to do that. I think I'm going to track the way I'm tracking at least till the beginning of the year. And if I want to try to really look at my carbs at the beginning of the year. Um, or if I see that my weight is going back up or something, then I will, I'm going to focus more on carbs. But right now, I just want to maintain what I'm doing. Um, Steve and I went into our Celebrity Cruises. We have a Celebrity Cruise booked for March. And we picked out our excursions last night. And I'll give you more information on that later next year. But... Um, we picked a hiking. We picked a two-mile hike. And I said, I'm going to be ready for this. I'm not, you know, it's it's a moderate hike. It's not strenuous. And I know I can do it. So, um, and I'm really looking forward to it. So that's one thing we did pick out. I want to do more walking. I want to do more hiking. I want to get up into nature and see things and not just sit and look at them on YouTube or, you know, I like to do that too. But I want to be able to get out and get around and get some exercise and stay active. And uh, and that's what my goals are going to be for the new year. So I don't know about in the winter when it's snowing, but I will be on my treadmill. So let me call it a day on this video. I know it's probably been long, um, but 
I'm going to go do some walking. I hope you all have had a great week. Let me know how you've done. And uh, let's start out the week strong. So remember, weight loss, just like everything else, it's all about the adventure. Let's make it fun. Okay? So uh, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to. I'll catch you all on tomorrow's video. Have a blessed day. Bye now.